What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do a traditional Arena Cube draft. I was reluctant to do the Arena Cube because last time I didn't love it. Um, I thought the format was a little too limited. They had a bunch of obscure cards that weren't, like, cube-worthy. It felt more like a Chaos draft, but someone said this is the best iteration <clears throat> of the MTG Arena Cube. And uh, that I should give it a shot, so... I am also a fan of best of three, because that's how magic works. And three rounds is a little more digestible than seven. So, away we go. Unless it doesn't fire, because that would be awkward for everybody. Alright, well, I waited until the, I paused it until this queue fired, but then it fired fairly quickly, so... This is just way too small. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, that's better. I mean, Gargaroth and Questing Beast are both very, very good. I think it is Questing Beast over Gargaroth, though. I don't think either one is going to table. Yeah, let's take the Beast. I got the beast in my sights. The, the questing beast. Um, Tangled Florahedron is actually fine. Let's just play questing beast on three. I don't think we want triple, triple blue Jace. Even though I think this Jace is fine. I don't think any of these cards are encouraging me to play a second color yet. Thank you. I actually think Witch of the Moors is really sweet, and it was almost the card I wanted to put in cube. It's a 4-4-4-5 four, 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 with Death Touch. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if you gained life, each opponent sacks a creature, and you get a creature back from your graveyard. Like, that's pretty good value just for, like, gaining life. I kind of actually want to take Witch of the Moors here and try to build around that. Hmm. It seems really good. I'm going to take it. I think it's very early and we can still make something work with that. Oh, Divine Visitation. This is Lose Life. This is Gain Life. Llanowar Visionary also very good. Man, we could have had Tetraflorahedron or whatever and also Llanowar Visionary. It might just be Llanowar Visionary still. I mean, worst case scenario, it's still 4-4 four, four for 5 with Death Touch. Yeah, I'm just going to take Visionary. I can see they're taking Visionary or Divine Visitation there. Voracious Hydra seems fantastic, especially when we have a Witch of the... Or, uh, uh, Leno Visionary. Yeah, let's take Voracious Hydra. Witch's Oven's also pretty sweet, but we don't really have an engine for it yet, so I'm just going to take the Voracious Hydra. <laughs> oh, man. Danny with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Look at this. Look at this moving Wrath of God art. Overgrown Tomb. Well, that seems actually just perfect. Yeah, let's take an Overgrown Tomb for our black-green deck so far. Oh, what up, Chris? What do we got here? Anything exciting? Demonic Embrace. Uh, I think Knight of Autumn might be the best card for us in this pack. I don't think either of these are great. But Knight of Autumn is versatile, and if that Concealed Courtyard comes back... There's also an Isolated Chapel and a Sun Petal Grove here? That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Chapel here.
A nation turns its lonely eyes to you. Oh, Savage Stomp is great. Eh, I don't care about Vastford fortica Fortification that much. I think Stomp is actually pretty good with, like, Questing Beast or Witch of the Moors. I don't care about Elvish Reclaimer. Actually, I was hoping the Mindstone would come back, so that's actually really sweet. Turn 2 Questing Beast is nice. I'm kind of hoping that Concealed Courtyard comes back. I, I, I meant turn three. Did I say turn two? My bad. Well, I think Explorer is actually fine. I don't want to commit to a black white card since both of them are my splashes. I'm going to put this guy in the main deck for now. Oh, Witch's Cauldron came back. Oh, so did Divine Visitation? We have no token makers right now, but that seems like a really high upside. Now, I'm going to take the cauldron. I'm going to stay the course. There's the concealed oh, witch's oven, too. I'm going to take the courtyard. I think it's more important to have access to Night of, Night of Autumn here if we want it. Take Birth of Miletus. Actually, maybe take Wrath of God. Yeah, let's take Wrath of God. And take this guy. Yeah, which of the Moors is super sweet. I'm a big fan. Oh, Command the Dreadhorde seems awesome. So does Virgil's Gear Hulk, actually. I think we just have to take Command the Dreadhorde. It just seems way too good here. That feels like a banger. Oh, Monsonster, welcome back, my dude. Mm, interesting. This pack is actually really sweet. Uh, I like Karn. Uh, I do like Turn Timber Symbiosis. Eliminate's fine. I'm going to take the Turn Timber Symbiosis here. Mythos of Nethroi is actually really good, too. Yeah, let's take the Mythos. I think that's really good. Uh, Never Return seems sweet. I don't think we're Basri Ketting. Eldest Reborn seems great. Yeah, let's take Eldest Reborn, actually. Mirrodin's Core. Fascinating Jumpstart card. I mean, Ramp 3 is actually probably fine. Also, Elvish Rejuvenator. Mm. Okay. Oh, Rishkar's Expertise is actually a banger. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're definitely taking Rishkar's Expertise. 
I actually didn't even realize. I didn't recognize that at first. Ooh, Zagoth Triome. That is two of our colors. That might be good enough, actually. I think Zagoth Triome is fine as a blue black as a black green land. It also lets our isolated chapel come into play untapped, which is nice. Assassin's Trophy is sweet. Finale is interesting. I don't think we have the mana for Finale. I'm going to put Wrath of God on the sideboard here. Yeah, we're just taking Trophy. Do we need creatures? We have five. We have five creatures. No problem is... I do like a Johnny. Yeah, this card's not great. Um, we'll take a Johnny here. Honor and courage. Oh yeah, the life gain from a Johnny is actually pretty great. You can turn four Johnny, gain three. Turn five Witch of the Moors, gain three. That would be a, that's the perfect world. Um, if one or more counters will be placed on a creature control, twice that many counters. So it's like half of doubling season, basically. Zealot's fine. Agadim's Awakening is good. I think we actually want the, the Zealot here. It's good with Witch's Cauldron. Uh, probably just Scavenging Ooze. Actually, this is another gain life card, and it has a counter synergy with like a Johnny. Yeah, I think Conclave Mentor might be better than um, Scavenging Ooze in our in our particular deck. Because it works. It puts two counters with Savage Stomp. Um, it puts. Is it double or add one more? It puts three counters on Knight of Autumn. Every Ajani activation puts two counters on all your creatures. Voracious Hydra puts an extra counter on. And it's just a 2-2 two -two for two, which is totally fine. And it dies, you gain life, which triggers our Witch of the Moors. So actually, surprisingly solid. Uh, we're going to take Imperius Perfect, I think. Oh, wow, Never Return came back. That's really good. This is my first time drafting this cube, yes. Uh, I'll take Basri's Lieutenant, actually. That guy's pretty good. Also combos with uh, Conclave Mentor. I mean, I'm using the word combo pretty loosely. Yeah, I'll take Plague Crafter. Not necessarily going to play it. Well, this is the second queue I've seen that has Fight as One in it. Now I came back. All right, sure. Sure. Uh huh. I kind of like Cultivate here, actually. 
I don't care about Elspeth. It's double white. I don't really want a double white card here. Cultivate fixes our mana. Yeah, let's take Cultivate. I think Cultivate's pretty good here. Oh, Garrick Unleashed. And, and admittedly sad Garrick. How's our five spot looking? Pretty good enough for Thrag Tusk, I'd say. Okay. Also, Elysian carry added. If that guy comes back, we'll definitely replace the, like, probably explore. Oh, Incubation Druid. Also, Savai Triome is two of our colors. Wolf Willow Haven's nice. Hmm. I think it's Incubation Druid. It's a creature. It puts counters on itself, which goes well with Conclave Mentor. Yeah, that seems like an easy pick. We can put the Explorer on the sideboard. Oh, a Temple Garden? Wow, that's actually really nice, considering we already have Overgrown Tomb as well. And this pack is not super impressive for us, so... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Three black-green lands in a row. Okie dokie. I guess we'll take Woodland Cemetery. I think that's probably one of the better ones, considering it comes into play untapped most of the time for us. That's really weird. Maybe one comes back. Scattered Groves. Oh, wow. And Abzan Trial. <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, Fiend Artisan is actually pretty decent. Gear hunk. <laughs> oh boy. So how many playables do we have? We have one, two, three, four, six. So we are at twenty-two playables right now. Definitely not taking Citadel here. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna take Scattered Groves. Uh, Orzhov Enforcer seems great, actually. And this enters from a, If it entered from the graveyard, this puts it back in the hand, right? This puts it into play, though. Yeah, I'm going to take Orzhov Enforcer. We got here. So this is, this is twenty. What? Oh man, Pelucranos. Oh baby, that's a deal, dude. Oh, I was actually hoping that Blood Chief's thirst would come back. Yeah, all right, sure. Wow, that Pelucranos was nice. Our mana is actually also fantastic. Garrick came back. I mean, I still think we take this. Negative two for a beast. Sure. I'll take a disfigure. I don't think we're going to main deck it. Ancestral Blade is fine. The Blooming Marsh? Probably going to make the cut. Sounds good. Wow, Mirari's Wake came back? Typically, I'd take Demonic Pact, but I do not think I want to risk that again. Wow. I was actually thinking of Archfiend's Vessel because it works well with uh, Command the Dreadhorde, but I really don't think... 
I think we might need more than that. All right, 43 cards. Not that bad. How many creatures do we end up with? 13? So I'm reluctant to cut any creatures here. You can go over here. I think Garrick's probably not good enough. We have Mythos, Never Return. I might cut Mindstone. We have Incubation Druid. Actually, no, we didn't get a second thing, so it, that, that's two ramp spells. I have also not played this format, so... So, remove we have Blood Chief's Thirst, Assassin's Trophy, Never Return, Mythos. Which seems pretty good. What does Witch of the Moors do? 4-4 four, four with Death Touch for 5. At the beginning of your end step, if you gained life, each opponent sacks a creature and you return up to one creature from your graveyard to your hand. I might take out Savage Stomp, actually. Cauldron is kind of whatever. I was trying to use it as a combination, as a combination move with the with the witches, the witch of the Moors, because we actually don't have a ton of ways to gain life. Like it looks like we have Knight of Autumn and a Johnny outside of Witch's Cauldron. This is how many lands? Oh, yeah, and, and Thrag Tusk, for sure. <sighs> Let's go to lands. So this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sources of green. Black we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And white we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually seems really good. Actually, Mentor gains us life too, right? So, I'd rather cut Cauldron and have another creature in Mentor that also combos with like a Johnny. Let's try it like this. Let's see if this is any good. I will play first. No, don't like that. Yeah, we'll keep this. We can send the f six mana card back. Blooming Marsh. Well, that's got to be better. Because next time we can play with Johnny. That seems good. What up, Shua Gardner? What up, Dave?
benefits of peace? Well, you are welcome to want the mic all you want. As an adult with a job, uh, it's unlikely he'll be joining us because he has a life of his own. You got it. Hmm. One, two, one. I mean, they're eventually going to mill something sweet that I can get back, right? -da 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 -da. Oh. Sounds good. Really? Over the three mana? That's strange to me, I guess. So now I can kill this guy and draw another card. And then it's an option if we... Lucranos in there now? That seems good. Huh. No, none of those. How about my graveyard? Um, what if we get this back and then we command the Dread Horde for like a million things? Submit zero. Let's choose Does it matter? I don't think it matters. Resolve, sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. Two, three, four, five, six. Did I, what am I not selecting? This guy? And the first one? Yeah, there we go, okay. Oh yeah, I definitely could have saved someone with the dog. That's a good call. I just totally forgot what it did. I didn't even think that had an ability, but I don't think it really matters right now. I mean, it might. It definitely might. I mean, they're dead on board. They have to answer Pelucranos, so... Okay.
All right. Well. Interesting. Let's add an explore and a Garrick. Plague Crafter. And we'll add. Oh, man. How do I. How do I change the view? Can you not change the view? And so, oh, there we go. I was like, wait, what's going on? Uh, we're going to add one more swamp and one more forest. Go up to 45. Turn three Pelucranos seems good. That was a good draw. Okay, so we can attack for six. Okay. Should have played Johnny first. That would have been very, very good. These Planeswalkers of static abilities. Thank you. Oh, Grandma Boofy with the resub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, Assassin's Trophy's nice. <laughs> That's pretty good. right fascinating so we got one two three four five six we have eight mana total now do you see the benefits of peace I want to keep Assassin's Trophy up. This is a six. I don't really want to throw an Imperius Perfect out there because of Cleansing Nova. But I guess, like, we have Command the Dreadhorde, so... 
maybe post combat Imperius Perfect is where we want to be. This has not been uh, the best played matchup for us for sure. Um, Yeah, just end the turn, I guess. Frank magic? I don't understand what that means. What are you saying right now? You sound like a crazy person. Okay, little doggy. Hostagio Tecaro. Uh-huh. So when I kill this, I just get to draw it again? That's pretty cool. Or I get to replay, I get to draw another card again is rather what I meant. Spell pierce it. They did not. Okay. Well, Another card. Is this counter time? No, this is attack time and then make a guy counters, I think. No, this is just counter time. It's a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I have to light the way, I will. Super Fritz, have a good afternoon work, buddy. Is this if I try them? So they only have two black right now, is what you're saying.
Okay, we just win the game. <laughs> All right. Good times. Our deck is sweet, even though we uh, did not make the... I wouldn't say we... I guess we can, I guess we can consider it misplaying. We did not make the optimal play on, on quite a few occasions. Uh, this hand seems great. Turn two into turn three into turn four. Sure. Oh, we're playing against Cooter Punch. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. I will block. Castle Embereth and a Crawling Barons. Jeez, two, two threatening lands up. All right. <laughs> Man, they can't beat one Orzhov guy, I guess. That's pretty good. Well, I'm bringing in Disfigure. Take out Command of the Dread Horde. One two death touch and it makes another creature. I'm out. I can't handle it. Uh, turn to mentor. Yeah, you will keep this. It's not the best, but you got it. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So when this guy dies, I gain life. When this guy comes into play, I gain life. Oh, you got it. I will gain two. Wow, that's the perfect draw. Holy smokes. You got it. 100% eating the banneret. <laughs> oh, what a match, boys. What a match. Good grief. Well, that was that was something, I guess. Don't draft red cards, kids. Claim that prize. All right, let's see if we can three zero. I feel like we should be able to, but you never know. Uh, 
Uh, this hand seems amazing. I will keep it. Let's lead with uh, an overgrown Tombe. Well, Night of Autumn is pretty banging here. Let's be let's be clear. Okay, there's a lot of things. Well, that's unfortunate. It works. It definitely works against my Command the Dread Horde here. Oh, well, that's pretty good, I guess. That worked quite well. They have one card. Deal. Tap my land, you got it. Oh yeah, I think we're just doing infinitely better here. trade a Knight of Autumn. I guess I might not mind actually, because then we just get it back with Command the Dread Horde. Alright, you got the City's Blessing. Does that always happen even if you have no related cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I guess we'll find out. Oh, they have Arch of Araska. They literally have a card in play. Got it. Thank you, guys. I was not looking. I imagine they're going to tap Pelucranos. That's my guess. Man, who knew? No blocks. It's fascinating. They don't, they don't have to keep the city's blessing, right? They can they can block with their elf if they want to. <sighs> really need that ninth mama source. I hear you. Okay, so it's a three three. Sounds good. And a Shalai. 
which I will immediately kill with my Mythos of Nethroi. Got it. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Yeah, I just paid a three. Go to three. Interesting. What's my favorite type of bean? I like baked beans. Um, I like refried beans. Can I explain mythos to you? Destroy a non-land permanent if it's a creature. So you can destroy an island permanent if it's a creature. You can destroy a creature. Or, if you spend black, white, green, you can destroy anything. And the if it's a creature clause does not count. Do we have anything else that destroys artifacts or enchantments? Now explain dead ringers. And I'm out. Pass. Hard pass. Uh... Yeah, I think we're just fine. I think our deck is good, so. Man, our hands have been fantastic. Can you explain Chains of Mephistopheles? You can't even spell Chains of Mephistopheles. So, you know, think about that. Oh, she came at me, bro. Oof, toxic streamer. <laughs> See, that's funny. You guys are funny. Man, I should be paying you guys to stream. My ear has been itching a ton. It's not dirty. I, like, I, I'm like, I'm like, oh, is there anything there? No, nothing there. It's clean. It's just got this itch. Is it mites? Do I have earmites? They have a lot of lands, but only two cards in hand, so, you know, really, what's the problem? Probably. Good point. same deck what did they play deals damage okay so they just killed that guy and now that, their only card is literally beanstalk giant fascinating
do you dance to all the wrong songs and enjoy all the wrong moves? I don't know what that I don't know what that means. You got it. Are you just gonna play your beanstalk? Huh. Create an XX where X is the number of creatures you control. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's what's known as a solid top deck. Okay. I mean, I think if we want to trade with a Shia, that's totally fine, right? Okay, so it's good to know that when these come into play, their power and toughness is locked in. I mean, this feels pretty fine to trade with, like, three of their guys. Uh-huh. Okay, just the one. Deal. I mean, next time we can play Witch of the Moors and, uh, maybe, maybe this guy that. Maybe we can even fight our own guy. One, two, three, four, five. We could... Then they sack a guy and we get back, like, Questing Beast. Yeah, that's fine. Pass. Just the 4-4, four, four, huh? Yeah, I'll just take 4 here. Actually, maybe I just kill that. I don't have enough, so I'll just pass. Okay, not the land we wanted. Just taking it, sounds good.
Doesn't have trample. Okay. Got Castle Umbreath over here and a Castle Garen Brig. murdering that. I'm tempted to just make an elf here. We can only make one elf a turn, but we can actually kill that next turn. I think I'd just rather make sure we make our elf a turn. I mean, they can activate Garenbring, actually. It's not, not bad here, but they did not. Five mana. Hmm. Yeah, so this is basically going to die anyway, so I have no incentive not to just kill that guy straight out. You got it. You got six. All right. I think we're doing very, very well here. <laughs> yep, that's pretty good. From the smallest ant to the largest hydra, nature is. Yep. I have a feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six, then. Yeah, well, I'm not going to take eight and go to one here. Especially when they have an Embereth. cards. Dang. Ah. Time to disappear into the brush. All right. Fine. So they're just dead? I'm like, okay, weird, weird attack, but alright. Alright, and Have you been to the castle, Karen Brig? More like shit stock giant. It's true. Oh, that was. Wait, did we just. I thought we had another round left. I thought we had another game. Did. Oh, well. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Draft an Abzan deck just like we did. Crush your opponents. Uh, beneath your heel, uh, hear the lamentations of, of their women, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it.